Hello, my name is Andy Oakley. I'm a New Zealand author and businessman. This is the first of what may be a series of videos that give you a commentary on New Zealand issues that are not tarnished with a PC, non-offensive, left-leaning view on everything. I think that it's vital that all New Zealanders' uh, views are heard on issues, particularly as we have no as well, I've noticed that the media are increasingly denying New Zealanders their true history and opinions on issues that differ greatly from what's being broadcast. So this week's topic is why are Maori filling New Zealand prisons? New Zealand has uh, one of the highest incarceration rates in the Western world, and we're constantly reminded that more than half of them are Maori despite Māori making up only about 16% of the population. The statistics are presented as follows. In 2016, Māori, mostly under 30, made up 56% or 4,462 of the total prison population. European prisoners made up about 29%, 2,471. And Pacific peoples accounted for about 8% or 667 of the total. However, all of the Māori people who make up these statistics have European ancestry to some extent. And many of the Pacific people also have European ancestry. And even if the majority of the ancestry of the inmate is European, as many are, the European ethnicity is dropped. Now this could be voluntary or may, they may have been influenced by the Treaty of Waitangi Act which states in legislation that a Māori person is a person of the Māori race of New Zealand or anyone descended from such a person. So this act effectively creates Māori from thin air. It may explain why in the last census we gained about 35,601 new Māori people. So the more New Zealanders mix, the more Māori people there are. Obviously that law would make the offspring of a woman who is 100% European and a white New Zealand man with a 132nd Māori father a Māori. And it leads to the rather bizarre situation where people such as Hannah O'Regan, who is 132nd Māori, or rather 3132nd European, defining herself as a Māori, with whakapapa or ancestry back to Kati uh, Rakiamoa, Kati Rua Hikiheki, Kai Tua Huriri, Kati Waiwai, and not a bit of anse a European ancestry in sight. My point is that up to 85% of all prisoners in New Zealand have European or mostly European ancestry. When you consider also that nearly all of the Europeans born, uh, in prison will have no Maori ancestry, and nearly all Maori will, will have uh, European ancestry. It's very clear that while crime may be described as a Māori problem, in fact, the vast majority of prisoners are Europeans or mostly European in many cases. Which means the worn out line that crime is a Māori problem is merely a statistical illusion created by the government department Statistics New Zealand. Māori leaders who are experts in creating treaty claims and politicians looking for votes continuously use these bastardised statistics so that Māori appear as being the oppressed indigenous, indigenous people of New Zealand, or tangata whenua. And this would lead to the question, why would the government and Māori leaders want Māori to, to appear as being oppressed? Well, the answer is because the government have created the Waitangi Tribunal who have been specifically empowered to make recommendations on treaty claims, which are really claims by Māori of oppression. These claims are upheld and we are reminded of that every week when we hear about many millions of dollars in extra rights being transferred directly to the tribal elite who are acting on behalf of the oppressed Māori. They also use these false statistics endlessly to excuse the behaviour and the failure of these people, or of these Māori people, that they've conjured up from thin air, who ended up in prison. Never mind that they are mostly European, have grown up as Westerners, did not grow up influenced by Māori culture, 
don't know the language, the history, or anything else about what it is to be Māori. Clearly then, the people who are filling New Zealand prisons are not there because they are Māori. They are nothing more than mixed ancestry criminals being used as a racist statistical trick on the people of New Zealand. We must simply reject these lies from now on. So if it's not the race or the perceived race or ethnicity that is the influencing factor of why someone ends up in prison or why we have such high incarceration rates, what is it? Well, because I grew up in Cannons Creek, New Zealand's poorest suburb and one of the largest Polynesian cities in the world in the 1960s and 70s, I know because it happened to me. It is an awful mix of inequality, which is the result of being a reasonably successful country, but when you sprinkle greed and racism into the mix, we now have a recipe for the Marxist doctrine of oppressor versus oppressed. Let me explain. While my family were poor and there were many social problems all around us, largely brought about by bad parenting, we were not suffering poverty like a sub-Saharan tribesman in Africa. However, whenever I went to another suburb to play rugby, and increasingly as, as TV became more popular, we saw people who were rich or very successful. In other words, I saw great inequality. And the result of great inequality causes young men in poor suburbs great frustration as there does not seem to be any way or pathway to the success. And worse, in New Zealand, if the young men have the tiniest smidgen of Māori ancestry, they are continuously told by their leaders, government, schools and the media that the Pākehā system will not work for them. Many young men in these suburb suburbs are programmed to show dominance and they have a need to rise to the top in the hierarchy. This is an inbuilt male trait. And the apparent unfairness of it all and the desperate need to impress women or to show dominance over other males will often result in them using aggression and crime to rise to the top. And so we see that it is inequality and nothing to do with race or ethnicity that results in us having the highest incarceration rates in the Western world. Now the re realisation of this is actually a godsend, because we can do something about inequality. And consequently, we need to stop arming people with brown skin with the false dogma that there is an increasing racism against them, and that it is the prison statistics that are the proof of it. I've been Andy Oakley, noho oro mai.